Thank you so much for agreeing to be part of this global conversation that we are starting today. Over the next 12 months, we'll have a really amazing opportunity to create an in-depth dialogue, a global conversation around where we are in the world today, where we need to go, and how we can work together to get there. And we're hoping that over the next 12 months, by providing this chance for the Nobel laureates to think deeply together, when we do gather together for our 10th anniversary celebration, the Nobels can come together with one voice. So our first question is, when you look into the future, what are your greatest hopes for humanity and what are your greatest fears? We face enormous uh, problems. Uh, there is uh, hunger, uh, there's conflict, uh, there is poverty. We, we, particularly in Southern Africa, are being devastated by the HIV AIDS pandemic. And in a way, you almost want to say there is no hope. The world is, is going down the tube. Well, total obliteration obviously is the greatest fear uh, given the current, you know, trend in the world. Of course there are uh, different kind of challenges, but the one I feel, population. Uh, and then also, I think, energy crisis, then water crisis. I think starvation and AIDS, we have to address those issues too because every six seconds a child dies in the world from conditions of malnutrition. Now, in a so-called so civilized society. Los llamados desastres naturales. What we are calling natural disasters are not really natural disasters at all. For many years we have drilled for oil, taken the minerals from our earth. We've used many chemicals and contaminated the earth. And with so many wars, we've actually destroyed the environment of many countries with very grave consequences for humanity. We begin the 21st century and continue with a value system, which I think is wrong, full of cynicism, hypocrisy, and egoism, instead of having a new ethics for the 21st century, ones with more solidarity, with more compassion, with more tolerance, with more justice, and with more love. My fear is that material things have distracted our youth. I am amazed when I see youth so captivated with designer clothing or the models of cars or the luxuries of life over true and real values. I think the, for me the biggest challenge in the next 10 year period um, would be to get young people and old people to really think about what security means. And that's a hard one, uh, especially after September 11th and Mr. Bush's great war on terrorism. Uh, people are loath to actually think. We must acquaint our youth with the realities of the world, even if these realities are not pretty. The younger generation must know how many schools could be built with the cost of producing just one bomb. I say no. There are these fantastic people, the young people especially, who dream dreams. And I say that is one of our greatest hopes. Young people who are idealistic, who really do believe that the world can become a better place. Uh, judging from uh, events in 20th century, I'm hopeful. I think humanity becoming more uh, mature uh, through crisis. What I fear most is that we, we will not discover the truth about ourselves. We will constantly think that it is possible to go it alone. Now I think the younger generation, I think we should learn that and think about our uh, uh, problem 
not just through emotion, but more holistic view, without losing our own hope, our own determination. Well, my greatest hope is that we do become what Martin Luther King called the beloved community. And I think that is possible um, because essentially people are good and they want to do what is right. And there is a great deal going on in the world to change what is wrong. Uh, and I think that the voice of millions of people around the world calling for peace, calling for nonviolence, calling for a new human family is tremendously important.